Hi, I'm the Beauty Professor, and you can find my beauty blog at www.beautyprofessor.net. So today I'm going to be doing a quick review slash tutorial with my Laura Mercier Custom Artist Portfolio. And that is essentially a planner for makeup. So my mom picked this up for me when I was out of town a few months ago. She went to the Nordstrom Trend Show and this was one of the offerings at the Laura Mercier counter. So I'm going to be showing you how I pack this, what I like to put inside of it as I get ready to head off on another trip. So this is a great way to maximize the amount of products that you want to bring on a trip while minimizing the amount of space that they take up. Really quickly on my face, I am wearing the Kinevo Sensei Cellular Foundation in Natural Beige. I'm also wearing two new Chanel Fall 2013 products. One on my cheeks, which is the cream blush that I think will soon sell out at counters everywhere. People are already going crazy for it. It comes in a host of colors. I managed to pick up three shades and certainly I'll do a close up either in a video and or a blog post very soon. But in the meanwhile, I'll give you a sneak peek at this beautiful color. It's Inspiration, which was the most pale of the pink offerings. Let's watch this for you. And like I said, it is on the apples of my cheeks. There is inspiration in all of its pale pink glory. All right, and then on my lips, I'm wearing a combination of two colors. One is the Chanel Le Rouge Coco in number 55, which is Icone, I-C-O-N-E. And it's described on the Chanel website as a gold beige. And I think that pretty accurately captures its shade. It's full coverage and creamy and not inordinately dark, which I appreciate. I find that sometimes Chanel lip colors go really dark on me. And on my wrist, it's this shade right here. I am at twilight right now, so I'm trying to get the lighting right. I didn't want to oversaturate this video with light, but at the same time, if I went without a little bit of light, it would be very dark. So I hope that this will suffice. On to the planner. So I'm literally, and I'm using that word intentionally, sometimes it can be overused, but I am literally going to be packing this planner as I speak. So this actually has a utility or an application beyond just being a video. Um, the planner here is made of very durable vinyl on the outside that's kind of ribbed. You can see that. And it's that beautiful, deep, glossy Laura Mercier brown that is always a part of her signature packaging. Inside, it looks kind of like a planner, and I'm a planner person. I love planners. Oops, it's upside down. I'm a planner person. I write in a planner to this day. Even though I embrace technology, I think there's nothing quite like having a book to hold on to your thoughts and ideas. And here is a book, if you will, to hold on to the makeup that I love when I'm traveling. And I'm also able to fit skincare in here. So first things first, uh, these pouches are magnetized and that means that they can be easily removed so that you can pack them and then place them back in the book. And I think that's a genius idea. No Velcro, which can lose its efficacy over time. The magnets are powerful, yet easy to work with. That's the first part. Then on the next page, if you will, we have the brush section. And I'll be packing a few key brushes with me and I'll show you how I do that. Then we turn the page and there's a beautiful little elasticized pouch. This is where I like to put skincare and foundation if it's the proper size. So that will go there. And then in the back will be any extraneous items that I haven't found a home for yet. Lipsticks, maybe some extra blushes. Eye makeup and tweezers will go right here. And that's the extent of the planner. For a few day trip, this is definitely all one, even the, the most staunch makeup lover, this is all one would need. If the trip is longer, and I just got back from a trip that was close to a week, I did bring a little more than this. I had a toiletries bag for shampoo, 
my Callista curlers. And then actually, and this is almost embarrassing to admit, but I'll say it for the sake of truthfulness, I had an entire large pouch devoted to lip products, many of which I did not touch, but it was nice to know they were there and I thought maybe I would find some time to use them or play with them. So that being said, let's get to packing the portfolio. I'm going to start with the back sections tall pouch here, which I'm removing. So I'm going to start by tossing in my beloved Metier de Beauté Pauverge number two. I've talked about that many times over. It's my primer illuminator skincare in the daytime. I will also pop in the Evian Mister, which I use with my Beauty Blender, which will be subsequently added to this pouch in a moment. The Metier de Beauté Dual Action Makeup Remover. I will be packing my Chantecaille Stress Repair Concentrate Eye Cream, which I've been using both day and night, very happy with it, but certainly when I'm using a, a high-end skincare item, I want to make sure that I've tested it for many weeks before I weigh on it formally. I've been using this for almost three weeks, and so far I am thrilled with it. So that's going in here. I am packing my Sunday Riley Good Jeans, which is my night treatment. I just had to pick up my third bottle of that, so that should tell you how much I like this. I'm just twisting the top, and I like the fact that it travels nicely with the twist, so you can't pump any product out until you retwist it again. For sunscreen, I am bringing the Kogan Doe UV Care Milk SPF 30. It's a beautiful physical sunscreen. I've discussed it before. Tiny bottle just for the face, putting it in the pouch here. I'm also bringing the Rachel K CC Cream in Neutral, which I've been talking about a lot recently. I will be devoting an entire blog post to this soon enough. But in the meanwhile, I'm bringing it with me because it adds a nice layer of protection on the face, even when you're wearing foundation over it. And I'm finally bringing my Dior One Essential Capture Total. It's a serum, and I put it underneath my other skincare both day and night, and it's supposed to heighten the effects of that skincare. All right, so that's all fit into this pouch. I'm going to zip it up, and I will, at the very end, add it to the plan. Onto the upper section where eye pencils, etc., will go. I'm going to be throwing in a couple of favorite eye pencils, those are options, outside of my normal ones that I keep in my makeup bag, which is probably a whole nother video. So, some eye pencils, an eyebrow pencil, which is the hourglass. Arch. I'm really liking that in soft brunette. I'll be doing a blog post on that soon. Some super sharp tweezers. Never know when you'll need those. An additional mascara. So I have two. This is the Chantecai, and I'm keeping that in here. My Young Blood La Maximize Lash Serum, which I've been putting on day and night, and it's supposed to nourish your lashes and help with growth. And then I have the uh, Urban Decay Sharpener. A file, yes, this is from Roswell. My aunt got this for me as a souvenir, and I love it. It's my favorite file. And then finally, some Retin-A Micro to use should, God forbid, something erupt while on the vacation. Sometimes that happens when you're using different water and you're sleeping in a different bed. So I'm going to pop this into the portfolio. I'll give you a look at the final product at the very end of this video. This smaller pouch is going to house some extraneous makeup items. In this case, I'm going to be putting in one of my Guerlain Terracotta Four Seasons bronzers. I have the Nude 00, and this is the O2, the blondes. I'll be doing a blog post on this soon. I just took some pictures of it before it's been overused. I'll be adding the Immortal, uh, the Royal Sunset MAC Blush, which is a brighter version of Immortal Flower, which I'm wearing right now and I like it a lot. The Hourglass Diffuse Light Powder as a light powder option, and a nail polish. This is the Dior Beige Safari, which is the quintessential nude in my book. I use it on my toes all the time. And a couple of eyeshadow options outside of my normal by Terry Number four, Bronze Moon, which is probably what I'll be sticking with. But I also have two favorites from Armani, Eyes to Kill. It's the number 15 and the number 28. One is a very bronzy gold. The other is kind of a plummy gold. So there's some options there. I'll toss that in my bag since I have some room. And all of those items fit effortlessly in here. 
I forgot to mention that the powder I'm currently wearing over the Kanibo Sensei Cream Foundation is one by Givenchy called Le Prism, and this is in the number 84, which is beige mousseline. And it looks like this. I like dusting it over, and it's kind of a nice summer color. It's not as light as some of my other powders that I've been wearing all year, but it's not so dark that it looks like overly tan. So this lighting, I think right about here, gives you the best sense of what it looks like. It definitely complements the natural beige Kanibo. So that's what it is, and it's got a pretty, fantastic little slide out brush as well. Nice little contraption. All right, my last pouch to fill is already housing some Crest White Strips, which just travel with me. I leave them in there perennially, so they will stay there. They're flat, they take up like no room. And then I'm going to add two travel perfumes. These are Tom Ford fragrances that I wear frequently, and I like traveling with these itty bitty bottles. They're fairly indestructible for glass, and they don't take up a lot of room. One is black violet, the other is tobacco vanilla. And then I will be adding a couple lip colors from Mattier de Beauté, Clarins, which is a lip treatment, a Givenchy lipstick, and one from good old NYX in peach nude, nude peach fuzz. It's a crazy opaque pink nude peach, I love it. So it comes with me on most trips just in case. Then I'm adding my Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate in 01. I wear this nonstop. And that, oh, and the Beauty Blender, which pops in right here. And this pouch is finished. I am getting to the end of my portfolio here. And so I'll be loading this side over here on this side up with brushes. And I like the way these brushes just slip right in. I'll see if I can show you how that works. You just slip it in to its place. I have one for my shade and illuminate, another for cream blush, and a little tiny brush for our cream eyeshadow. And then the flap goes over and the brush heads are protected from debris. Turning the page, this will be for my foundation options and I am really paring it down for this trip. I'm bringing the Hourglass Immaculate in Golden, which I've talked about many times over. It's great in case it's really humid on my so trip. I'm going to bring the Kanibo Sensai, which I've talked about at length, in a little jar here. I may not put this in the planner. I might just decant a little bit into a sample jar because I highly doubt I'll need a lot for a couple of days, but I'm definitely bringing this with me in some capacity. And that's it. So here is my Laura Mercier portfolio full of skincare and a plethora of makeup options for a short trip. I like the fact that this harder shell will protect my cosmetics and skincare choices and not only that but because it's slightly insulated I think they'll be more resistant to intense weather conditions like heat or cold. So I highly recommend this as a packing option for those of you who want to protect your makeup and also have it take up less space than it might normally if you put it into bags or multiple pouches. And I hope that this real life packing experience tutorial was of use and interest to you. As always, please don't forget to visit me at my beauty blog, Beauty Professor, which can be found at www.beautyprofessor.com dot net. Take care.